Hello world! It is another rainy day here in my city here in Montana. It's great for all of the flowers and the trees and all of that stuff. Very, very needed. This is quite honestly the rainiest spring that I can remember in a very, very long time. And of course they say April showers bring May flowers. Well, I hope all this May rain brings a lot of great things for June. <clears throat> So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I believe, what I don't believe. Um, truth of the matter is, truly, I believe everything and nothing all at the same time. Um, I love to learn new things. Of course, I've talked about my um, thoughts on religion and where I'm at with those sorts of things, where I've been at my whole life with those, just fascinated, love to learn, love to learn from the people. Um, so I do, I believe in everything and nothing all at the same time. However, there are three things that I absolutely do not believe in. And those are things that I feel will not be following me into whatever comes next. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my why with them as well. I don't believe in hell, unless it's spelled H-E-L and it happens to be a female who is the guardian of the underworld. Um, I don't believe in the place though. I do believe that that is a man-made creation. I believe that um, it is more of a sense of an emotion, a feeling, more than it is a place that we go in the afterlife. Um, so I do not believe in hell. Plus, again, I don't plan on going there. Um, I don't believe in a devil. This one is really, really interesting to me because there have been many Christians that have tried to convince me that there's a devil. However, they apparently did not pay attention to Jesus' story you cannot have two masters, for you will follow one and forget the other. So the people that have oftentimes tried to convince me that there is a devil, obviously were following the devil, even though they say that they believed in a god. So I myself do not believe in a devil unless it's Halloween and it's something you dress up as. I do actually have my devil horns and a devil's tail. I have also once been told, once upon a time, many, many, many years back, um, late mid nineties that somebody saw the devil come out of my eyes because he decided to hang up on a sales call that I was right in the middle of finishing up. And well, I let him know at that point, well, you saw that you'll never do that again. Will you? No, he would not. So, but again, I still do not believe in a devil. I believe that we have both the good and the bad within ourselves and it's with up to us to choose how we are going to, um, express those sorts of things. And the third thing I do not believe in, which I always found this interesting when I would tell people I don't believe in three things and I would tell them all the three things that I don't believe in, they didn't try to argue this one with me. I don't believe in war. While I am very well that it is present in the life that I have lived most of my life, um, I don't believe in it. Again, it's not going to be something in which where I go next. The thing about war as well is a lot of native um, history beliefs and such like that actually believe that when the divine feminine or when mo mother um the mother god god comes back she will actually or mother earth because that's where everything that we take from and create from comes from when when the mother comes back when the divine feminine comes back she will actually take all of the creation that is of destruction and recreate it into something that is supposed to be. So those mass-made weapons of war, any of the murder weapons that have been created, because again, the, the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill, anything that is of made of the man-made destructive sorts of things will be returned back to the earth and recreated into something else based off of the divine feminine's will. So, and I truly, truly, definitely believe in that. And I do believe that we are coming into those times. So those that want to bear arms or believe in bearing arms, I say, you have the choice. You can become a bear and bear arms, or you could be a man with bear arms. But when that time comes and the divine feminine is in the full control and full power, those weapons that you sleep with at night while you say you believe in God, but you actually sleep with those weapons, when those are taken from you, you will have no choice because it's just the way that it's supposed to be. So those are the three things that I do not believe in. And those are things that will not be following me into wherever I come next. And I'm just going to kind of wrap this up a little bit. Even when I was little, um, I knew 
how God had created me. When God created me, God actually wrapped my body in the skin that had a reflection of the heaven that I was going to learn at in school. So I was actually, um, I have moles placed on my body and I had the exact number of moles placed on my body as planets as I was going to learn about in school. One Fat Tuesday, as I was an adult, after I got back here to Montana, I went out, I had one of those long um, bra things that go around the belly as well. I had one of those on and it took one of the, my moles away. It actually rubbed it right off. And then I found out shortly after that, Pluto is no longer a planet. So might be my fault. I didn't mean to. I still personally believe in Pluto as a planet, whether or not they teach it in school, because of course the education system today is way different than it used to be. Really kind of glad I don't have kids in it. That's just my own personal opinion. But anyway, God created me with the skin of the heavens. And one thing that I remember too, that was kind of a spirit um, telling to me as I was growing up, I used to, well, I still have a little mole. It's not as noticeable on my wrist. And I used to have a little freckle also that is not as noticeable either because the colors have kind of gone away in my age. But I used to believe, and I still do, because I remember the little monkey coming up on my, my wrist as a watch. So when people would ask me what time it was, especially in my late, um, or my late teens and my early 20s, I'd say half past the monkey's ass, quarter past his balls, because of course that's exactly where it was at especially after I learned to uh, quit wearing a watch. That's just kind of how I looked at it. So that is on that end of things. And then I was also blessed with some Frankenstein moles. I've got that one. And I've got one on this side as well. I don't know if you could see it as well. So I used to tell people too, because I have those moles right in the Frankenstein spot. I am Frankenstein's little sister. So there you go. A little bit more about me, a little bit more about what I believe in. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Have fun, be safe, get healthy.